the sustainable management of the ocean is is key to the survival of the planet. You know, it might sound like a cliche, but that's that's just the way it is. I, I think also the issues that we've been facing over the last 20 years in terms of the inadequate management strategies that have been used for the exploitation of some of the resources still leaves a lot to be desired. Within, within a small island context, you know, one of the biggest concerns, obviously, apart from the climate change issues of sea level rise and that sort of stuff, is, is this whole condition of managing your exclusive economic zone. Now, small islands are, are responsible for a large proportion of the ocean space generally, especially when you look at the South Pacific Indian Ocean. And um, what you're finding there is that they, they don't have the capacity and wherewithal to manage those ecosystems. So therefore, you have the situation of, of piracy of fisheries and you know uncontrolled exploitation of those said resources. I think that you have to be able to, to manage and control them effectively you know, through both developed and developing country status, and, and that is where the emphasis has to be now. Coastal management, especially for small islands, is a, a pressing concern, okay, because there are limited resources within a confined space. There's also the potential for the overexploitation of those resources uh, easily and quickly, uh, all for the sake of physical and economic development. And therefore, you know, you find yourself in a, a catch-22. Yes, you do need economic development, but at the same time, once the resource is gone, it's gone for good, right? And, and therefore, to be able to effectively manage those resources is something that has to be a driving force. The trade-offs between environment and development are still taking place. Unless you, you can get a clear process of how that political will will change, um, you know, 20 years from now, we'll still be here saying the same thing again. I, I would hope that the concepts of good policy formulation and development will take place at Rio Plus 20, okay, and, and take it to another level, whereby if they have the time, because it's going to be a very tightly packed agenda, that um, the process at the, the, the UN, either regional seas level or the UN um, environment program level, in initiatives can be laid out as to participating in ensuring that uh, the whole concept of political will and buy-in can take place. Rio Plus 20 will reinforce some of the issues that came up at the original Rio and, and WSSD Johannesburg. But more importantly, the, the whole issue of the sustainability of the ocean has to be something that has to, to force its way onto the agenda. I don't think there was, in the initial stages, a lot of planning for it. And, um, you know, given the role and importance that it faces, it places on the planet generally, it will be essential to, to have a presence there. The conflicting or merging concerns that are now coming up with the blue and green economy concepts are, are another issue that need to be addressed because you can't have one in essence without the other.